pain. Just a, a lot. A lot of pain. Lots of it. Um, we choked. Plain and simple, we choked. We had it. Led a beautiful comeback by Jonathan Scope and Eric Haas. A six-run inning to tie it in the seventh. Eighth inning goes by. Offense doesn't do anything. Ninth inning goes by. Offense doesn't do anything. Gregory Soto pitches well to keep the White Sox from scoring in the eighth. Jose Cisnero did a decent job in the ninth. It's just after that hit by pitch, after that slipped, that was it. That was it. I already I knew. Once that happened, it's hard to mentally recover from that. <sighs> Man, we had it. Would have been an amazing comeback. We had it. It was so close. It was so close. I mean, we shouldn't have been down two to seven in the first place. But then, played good. And Jonathan Scope has been playing like a man possessed these past few games. I don't know if he wants to be an all-star. But he's playing like one. Uh, he's, he's hit his stride. He's definitely hit his stride. But it just... I mean, it's easy. You can blame... Cisnero. You can blame, I believe it was Funkhauser who gave up a decent amount of, of runs. You can blame the pit, all the pitchers who gave up runs. You can blame the defense for having, I think, three errors. You can blame the offense for um, not scoring at all in the 8th and ninth after coming off of a 6-run inning. But most of those, you can't blame one person. So this loss is not any one person's fault. It is the whole team. The entire team. Not just one guy. Not at all. Not just one guy. It's multiple people. Man. I'm hoping that Akil Badu is in the lineup tomorrow because I feel like we could use some of his energy after a loss like this. I mean, he hasn't been in the lineup recently that much. Uh, actually, wasn't he in the lineup two days ago? We need him in the lineup tomorrow. We need his energy because uh, after that, everybody's just going to be drained. But a guy like him is going to keep the same energy, and that's what we need. So, yeah, just got to keep the energy. Man, this sucks. This sucks. Well, I don't really have anything else to say on the game. Uh, tomorrow's game will be brought to you via... Um, hotel bathroom because I'll be traveling and I'll stop at a hotel if I have enough energy to make a video depends on how that game goes if it's a uh, heart-wrenching loss like this probably not gonna get a video um, if it's a win you'll probably get a video it just depends but yeah next few like I said on Thursday next few videos are gonna be in a hotel or a cabin so because I'm going to be on vacation. I'm still going to give videos to you guys. I'm going to do the Tigers games and the NASCAR race on Sunday. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny. And man, when Matt Shepard said, eat that Chicago, I really thought we had it. I really thought that we could have won. It stings. It stings. See you guys next time.
And Eric Haas says anything you can do, I want to join that party. Oh, yeah, baby, 417 feet. Eat that, Chicago. 8-7 Tigers as we stretch, brought to you by DTE. Love on each other, as in, like, you know, tell each other they love. I don't know, like, who the person is, so. The fuck you doing? The fuck you doing? Dumbass.